City. Actually, that's spot on. <laughs> that's spot on. <laughs> Competition that try to compete. Everything is spot on. Welcome back to Spot On Sports, the new wave of sports, but we're not just actors, we're spot on. This is my point exactly, where we have our participants will share their opinion on each of the given topics today. We got some special guests in the building. We got my guy Trey. What's up, Trey? What's up, dog? I'm Hot here. Hot take in Trey back in the field of building, dog. Let's go. <laughs> and we got a new special guest, Wayne. Welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. Right, Don, one on one. We appreciate having you, my brother. Well, let's jump into our uh, topics for today. Our first topic, we're going to go over the NBA. As y'all know, the NBA just released uh, the Christmas schedule. We got some very good games coming up. We'll have New Orleans versus Miami. The Warriors will take on. Uh, Milwaukee. The Nets going to be facing the Celtics. We have the Mavs facing LeBron and the Lakers. And last, we're going to cap off with the Clippers versus the Nuggets. Out of those five games, uh, which, which games are you guys most uh, looking forward to? Wayne, I'll start with you. Um, the game I'm most forward looking to is Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics. I say that because one, that's Kyrie Irving revenge game against Brooklyn. I mean Boston, excuse me. Um, I felt like he wasn't very comfortable in Boston at the time, or he felt like he didn't do enough, and he didn't want to be there. So now it's his chance to prove to them that they needed him, and he, they he did not need them. Also, Kevin Durant against Jason Tatum. I feel like that would be a match of the see. Um, Tatum has been playing very good, and Kevin Durant is coming back off an injury, and that will be a good game to start off the holidays. Bro, I like that. I like that. What you got, Trey? Man, he took my matchup, so I'm going to go with my second <laughs> matchup. <laughs> I was looking forward to uh, KD and then Jason Tatum versus Kyrie. Uh, at the time, we all, Tatum felt like he was the best player of the team. But I'm going to go uh, to Old Faithful, Goat James, Versus the up and coming uh, Luca the Doncic, uh, I think this this year Luca can probably win MVP because the whole everybody on MVP based off narrative and uh, it's probably going everybody over Giannis now, so they're gonna move to the next darling. And I think that's Luca. He, he's a great young player. He's putting up numbers, and I think if the Mavericks could take the Suns to a top four seed, he would put himself squarely in the mix for MVP. And then we got Goat James, man. He he, he here uh, his 18th season. He ain't going nowhere. They brought in Trez, Dennis Schroeder, put uh, Wesley Matthews. They brought somebody else. Oh yeah, Marcus Saul. Yeah, they bring a whole new host of characters with LeBron and them trying to repeat with Anthony Davis and the upstart Mavericks. We'll see what they're gonna do on Christmas. All right, man. Y'all got they got a favorite in the game. You think LeBron is gonna take it? I think the Mavericks going to take it because it's early in the season. I don't think the Lakers going to take these first this first month and a half. They ain't going to take it serious, man. But they just got like them Dallas going to surprise them. So it's going to come out shocking because they exactly. they an underdog already. So it's like they know what they know what they come. Mm-hmm. Dallas Dallas has been out for like almost three whole months, and the Lakers they just they were just in Vegas with the championship trophy about a month ago. So they they going mm-hmm. LeBron going to be he going to do that Kawhi treatment. He going to rest early. I do think I think uh I think Boston gonna beat Brooklyn. Like that's what I was gonna uh, say. I switch over. To I, I said yeah. Sorry, my and Steve Nash. You know we got to see what they gonna bring to the table. But Boston already got a lot of experience together, and they expect Kate Kyrie Irving to come hard. It's, it's I think they get them. They get them too. God, I think who wins the match? Who wins the matchup between Kimball Walker and Kyrie Irving? Kimball not playing. He out. He's like, not going Oh yeah, I just. He just, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, broke that this week, right? It's going to be Marcus Smart. Mm. Hey, Marcus Smart going to try to drop Kyrie. You know that boy crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then we got to realize it's the bubble, so he don't have the fan base to boom or champ. So it's going to be like – I think that's going to be a mental game. Like, just don't make mental mistakes and just focus without thinking that's your old team and you have something against him. I think he just got to focus Kyrie. Right. 
Let's take a little insight into the uh, the remaining three games on the Christmas Day. The Pelicans in the Heat. Who do you guys have in that matchup? Jimmy Butler. I know who. Okay, I was about to say Trey definitely going with the Heat. I know Trey going with the Heat. And Bam gonna lock up hype Zion. He gonna lock that. Bam gonna lock up hype. He gonna lock up Zion. That's that's gonna be the hot take for that night. He gonna lock mm-hmm. him up. That dude, he won't even touch twenty. Okay. That's big. That's a big, big statement. All right. What about the Warriors? You know, the return is a Steph, no clay, unfortunately. They got the top pick, James Wiseman, going up against Giannis and uh, some new new teammates he got up in there in Milwaukee. I feel like Giannis and then we're gonna take that. Easy. Just, like to be, just to be opposite, I'll take the Warriors. I think Steph and Draymond gonna be on a re- revenge tour. Cause let everybody forgot about them. So I think Steph gonna come out trying to be uh Steph. You can't Drew Holiday miss may have a big size, game. Man. Drew Holiday like may have a big game. I like the mm-hmm. Kelly Oubre uh, like signing to trade too. I like the Oubre to the Warriors. He gonna bring an edge to him. Yeah, they have good depth. And uh, with that night game again, the cap off. We got the Los Angeles Clippers facing the Denver Nuggets. This is going to be an interesting matchup, you know, as the Nuggets was able to end the Clippers season. Unexpectedly, everybody expecting the Clippers just to, you know, finish it off. And the Nuggets said, no, nah, not happening. So you think Kawhi and them going to get some get back against Jam- Jamal Murray? It's a tough one because I feel like the Nuggets going to unleash Bo Bo and they just got a good draft pick in R.J. Hampton. Oh, the Nuggets is pretty good. I don't know. I no, I'm gonna wait on Trey. I'm gonna wait on which the take is. I'm I'm thinking on this one. I like the Nuggets. I like the Clippers too, but Nuggets is that's a talented team. Trey shook his head. What you thinking, Trey? You think you, you rolling with LA? I got a hot take. If the Clippers don't move Paul George or like do something to change their roster, they might not. They might struggle to make the playoffs. So I don't. Th- I think it's mm. chemistry issues in that locker room. And I think Denver like playing with each other, so I'm gonna roll with Denver. But I don't think that they All haven't right, changed. I'm gonna go change anything. They haven't changed anything. They don't like each other. Even you can tell how when Trez got interviewed by the Lakers, they was like, "Man, they don't want me there." No, there was rumors Paul George wanted them gone, and then Paul George has got his best friend back, uh, Reggie Jackson. I think it's too much buddy buddy out there in Clipperland, and enough winning. <laughs> 